To most people, juvenile means under 18 years old, but not in the Illinois Department of Juvenile Justice, where men and women, sometimes up to 21 years old, are housed. Those adults in custody didn't have much to do after they got their high school diploma. Until now, CBS 2's Lauren Victory gets an exclusive look at the state's solution to boredom and behavioral problems. This building may look old, but inside, a new concept is under development. I learned how to like build a floor, a wall, uh, a roof. And now that 18-year-old's added college credit and a construction certification to his belt. Lights. It's a blueprint for a future that previously wasn't headed for success. Why does it help you to stay busy? Mm. Because I'll start acting out if I don't got nothing to do, you know. We're not showing the teens' faces because they're in state custody for various crimes. In January, all kids younger than 17 were transferred from the St. Charles Juvenile Justice Facility. It rebranded as the Phoenix Emerging Adult Career and Education, or Peace Center. What was life like here before? Fights so every day, every other day. Before, it was a lot more chaos, I would say, on grounds. But Assistant Superintendent Rayshondra Henderson yeah. believes some of that chaos stemmed from boredom. Getting a high school education is required. But some detainees graduate before their sentences end. 18, 19, and 20 year olds didn't have much to do. They watched a little TV, played cards, got on the phone a lot. Um, so this was an opportunity to get them moving and really get them active. From trimming wood to trimming fat, Peace Center High School grads aren't on the couch anymore. Now they can practice being personal trainers on pretend clients from Northern Illinois University. Five, six. The goal, log enough hours to get certified in a variety of industries. Complete this forklift simulator and the state will take you to a real job interview at a local warehouse. The young men say they appreciate getting a handle on important skills before getting released. Making sure I'm on my feet so I ain't just going out there with nothing. Coming soon, barbering classes and possible culinary training. Before the peace, the peace Center, I wasn't, you know, doing much. I was just bored. What are some changes that you've seen in yourself? Control of my anger, patience, um, and respect. Teachers are noticing a difference, too. I can't get them to leave out of the classroom. They're eager, they're excited, and they want to learn more. More enthusiasm, less drama. You gotta be cool in order to get in the program. He's right, good behavior and good attendance are requirements. Time will tell if that drives success. So far, state data shows the rate of incidents, fights, and assaults are all down in St. Charles compared to six months ago, pre-Peace Center. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Taxpayers are not paying any extra for the Peace Center. Funding comes through the existing budget. About 26 high school graduates are at the Peace Center right now. The program is so new that the center's ceremonial grand opening is scheduled for this week.